Hello everyone, my name is Shane Bridger Lutz and today we will be talking about Mother Courage 2021, making art in the age of coronavirus. Almost exactly a year ago, I had the great honor of directing Pride and Prejudice here at the University of Montana as part of my directing MFA. Unfortunately, the show came to a screeching halt in the wake of the coronavirus pandemic and it closed before it opened. And while I understand the need to shut down the show for safety, it broke my heart to watch all of the incredible, magnificent work by these designers, actors, and countless other creative contributors disappear into oblivion as this show became an unfinished, unrealized, uncathartic piece of art for all of us. And so, when I got the opportunity in the spring of 2021 to direct Mother Courage and Her Children by Bertolt Brecht, a powerful and experimental play about the intrinsic link between war and capitalism, I knew that a Zoom show could not match the sheer spectacle that this production deserved. And so, it became my sole goal to bring theater back to the stage, and I was prepared to do whatever it took to create a safe, smart, and spectacular piece of art to share with audiences everywhere. In order to maintain COVID security throughout this entire process, I developed an extensive and meticulous rehearsal protocol. We social distance at a minimum of six feet at all times. We incorporated masks into the world of the play, into the story itself. I reworked moments of physical touch or proximity to accommodate our brave new world, and we set up more Germex stations than you can count. And while we are rehearsing in person right now, our show will open in March and be streamed online so audiences can stream the show and enjoy it from the comforts of their own home, safely and confidently. Every moment of every day, I am so profoundly grateful for the chance to be back on the stage working. And this production model can be used to successfully stage a play at any university or theater company during this global pandemic. One of the many unique aspects of this play comes from the playwright's own theatrical experimentation. Brecht, a German theater maker who wrote Mother Courage in Sweden as he fled the wrath of the Nazis, believed that the stage wasn't challenging audiences. He wanted to upend the trends of art in the 20th century, and he used brand new theatrical methods to push audiences out of their traditional comfort zones and into a place where they could critically and analytically engage with the play, as well as the world reflected. This style of Brechtian storytelling is called epic theater. However, in the same way that we must update theater making to navigate coronavirus, Brecht's approaches require a 21st century transformation in order to speak to new generations of people struggling against the same broken systems. Most of these theatrical techniques were used to take audiences out of the illusion of theater as a reality. You know that critique everyone has for musicals? It just doesn't make sense how they randomly burst into song. Because people don't do that in real life, right? What audiences really don't like is how it breaks the story's hold on you by interrupting the action. Mother Courage has songs in almost every single scene where Brecht uses them to completely shatter the fourth wall and speak directly to the audience, often with a call to action. We can see that in this clip from the first scene, in which Mother Courage sings a song highlighting the hypocrisy of profiting off of a war that would one day claim all of her children's lives. Buy him some grub from Mother Courage, so he'll know where to point his gun. They fight for God and legal tender. I'll see them clothed and feed them well. God bless the boys and all their plunder. They march down the road to hell. Bring his gun and with his head. No one's gone, so draw a breath. Let Christian souls crawl out of bed. Pull on their socks and conquer death. Pull on their socks and conquer death. Pull on their socks and conquer death.
Epic theater anticipated the domination of visual spectacle within entertainment by incorporating mirrored images and patterns throughout the play to draw connections between ideas, events, and individual actions. For example, in scene three, the prostitute Yvette tells us and warns Mother Courage about her failed romance with the cook who took advantage of her years earlier. And then later in scene nine, after Mother Courage teams up with the cook, only to be betrayed by him in the end, they find themselves in the exact same positions, reminding the audience that it's the decisions we make on an individual level that have the greatest impact and consequences. Throughout my entire directing process, I experimented frequently with metatheatricality. As you can see in the rehearsal footage, we never hid that this was a play being performed on a stage. In fact, we leaned into it and deliberately highlighted the theatricality of Mother Courage. The primary method for portraying this beyond the show's design was the double, triple, and sometimes quadruple casting of the ensemble. Every actor played a variety of characters coming in and out of the story with a carnivalesque style. In order to really capture all the nuances of this unique theatrical experience, each scene is filmed in one single take. This makes audiences sitting in the comfort of their own home feel intrinsically involved in the events and the action of the play as they are literally carried along through the trials and tribulations of these characters vying for survival and success. I want to show you a clip from the finale of the play in which Mother Courage's last living child, Katrine, sacrifices herself in order to warn a small town of a surprise invasion. While she is shot and killed at the end, it is the single moment in the play when a character stands up for something greater than their own greed. And I wanted to highlight the power of that choice in the way we built this scene. Enjoy. Does come in the night of heaven, good father, and all your children are in desperate need. And we hope that you can forgive us of our sins as we have forgiven they who have trespassed against us. Amen. Amen.
deeper and deeper into the techniques of Mother Courage and Brecht in epic theater for an eternity, but you'll have to see the show to get the full, unparalleled experience. And I hope you join me and my incredible artistic community in reveling in this ambitious opportunity to make theater and share it with the world in a time when the stories we tell have never held such greater value, significance, and potential for momentous transformation. Thank you.